Hello and welcome to another unboxing and review. Today we'll be reviewing three cars, um, three Piston Cup races from the Cars 3 movie. So, we'll be reviewing number 54, Fox Wheel Drive, Tommy Highbanks. Really nice paint scheme. This is uh, number 90, Bumper Save, uh, Ponchi Wipeout. And then we have the number 80, Gas Kits which is Rex Revler. So that's all of the, that's the cars we'll be reviewing. We'll start out with the 54 Tommy Highbang. So let's get this car out of its box. And here's the car out of the box. Um, I'm like down out of the box. So, there it is. We've got Fox Wheel Drive, which is, um, it says Dirt Decals. So, um, yeah, they're a um, really nice car. Uh, I really like the paint scheme. So, let's go over the uh, sponsors of the car. Four wheel, so, we've got on the hood, Four Wheel Drive, um, Dirt Decals. So, we've got on the number um, 54 on the side. Piston Cup and other Piston Cup logos. Fail, fail Wheel Drive Dirt Decals. Then on the back, we've got Four Wheel Drive again, 54. Um, so I'm kind of like, uh, and I don't think there's anything else on there. On the deck lid, we have Four Wheel Drive Dirt Decals. And then number 54 on the roof. And yeah, that's all for the um, sponsors of the car. So we have... Um, Paint scheme of the car, pretty complex. So we've got, um, we've got basically a green background, and then we've got basically what looks like a kind of a terrain um, all over the car. You've got kind of a forest look on the sides, and then on the back, on the top of the car, you have um, kind of a terrain look to it. Really nice. Um, looks pretty accurate to the movie. Um, I would say really good. So. I would give this car out 10 out of 10. Really nice. But I do think that um, the spoiler should be all... Actually, uh, I'd give this 9 out of 10. Now I think about um, the rear spoiler, I think, should be all green instead of um, partially yellow. So, next car is um, Ponchi Wipeout, the bumper save. This one is a um, bit different from the first movie. This is a character that... A car that was both in the first movie and the third movie. So let's get this car out of the box. So there it is out of the box. We have it. There's um, really nice. So this is a bit different from the first movie. Kind of same character from the first movie just with a different... Um, different body and the um, um, different paint scheme. So we have um, number 90 um, bumper safe. So let's go over the um, sponsors of the car. We have on the um, hood, we have bumper safe. Um, on the side, we have the piston cup stickers, number 90. Then we have bumper safe right here on the quarter panel. Then on the back, we have bumper save again. We've got a rear camera, and it looks like the number 90 on there. Then we have bumper save on the deck lid, number 90 on the roof, and that's it for all the um, decal um, sponsorship decals on the car. Um, going over the paint scheme, you basically got this light blue background, and you've got these um, multicolored stripes, which red... Um, white and a few and some black and then you've got these yellow rims uh, I think it was really interesting. Um, I do think uh, there but um, I think the car in the movie um, actually had black rims instead of yellow rims and I think the eyes uh, right here should have been blue the same color as um, the rest of the car but other than that, it was it's really good, so I'd give this a 7.5 out of 10. Really nice. So now on to the final car of our review, 
Rex Revler, the number 80 gasket. This is um, very ident almost identical to the first movie car. Really nice. So, out of the box, we'll get it. So there it is, out of the box. There's um, Rex Reveler out of the box. So really nice. This is a really cool paint scheme. Probably one of my favorites. There's a lot of blue on this um, gas kit, the race track tree. So on the hood of the car, we have gas kits. Then on the side, we have the number 80 piston cup stickers, piston cup and other um, um, piston cup sponsors, number 80. We have gaskets on the side, and then we kind of have like a little bit of product placement here with the gaskets, um, I guess a treat or something, whatever it is, kind of some sort of candy, I'm guessing. Then we on the back, it's gaskets on the back, number 80. Then on the um, deck lid, we have gaskets, and then on the roof, we have the number 80. So, really nice. So, now going over the paint scheme of the car. This is a really um, cool paint scheme. I, it's pretty similar to the first movie, only I think they kind of put a little extra detail in it. First movie, it was kind of bland. Now that they, they um, this one, they actually kind of added some detail to it. So, um, we have um, basically blue background, and then we have these red and yellow stripes around the car and the roof is all red here then we've got a yellow stripe uh, and then we've got a red a uh, bit of red here and then you've got a red stripe that uh, yellow sorry that goes from the bottom of the car all the way around the rear bumper and to the other side and it kind of ends at and it um, looks like it starts from um, this here on um, the other wheel Basically wraps around the car. Really cool. Um, the kind of layout, this kind of reminds me of the um, Kurt Busch's 2015 Haas car. Really cool. So, um, really nice car. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. Um, the side skirt is black, too. I think it's a really nice paint scheme. Looks very accurate to the movie. I'd give this one a 10 out of 10. Really nice car. Um, so... That is all for this review. We have Tommy Highbanks, the 54, Ponchi Wipeout, the number 90, and Rex Revler, the number 80. I definitely would recommend picking these up so you can find these um, at your local store when the Cars 3, other Cars 3 diecast, or you can go on eBay or Amazon and easily find them. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and smash the subscribe button. This is Zachary Tinkle, signing out.